Um, if you didn't know already, here, let me let me turn this around. I need a haircut too. I just actually <laughs> got one, but um, we are having our second annual boot camp. So every year, August seventeenth, we we host a a dude a two day trading bonanza seminar. No holds barred. We we'll teach you exactly what to do. All that good stuff. And this year, since it's a pandemic, we can't do it live. Last year, we 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 spent over a hundred thousand dollars doing it in Philadelphia. Basically, doing it for free, man. We gave it free for members. This year, we're streaming it around the world, and we're only going to charge ninety seven dollars. The reason we're we're charging ninety seven dollars is because shit, man. I don't want to make it free because you're not going to value it. If you can't afford ninety seven dollars, and you do not want to pay ninety seven dollars. You might as well quit trading right now, guys. So, uh, and that's why we have to do it. Plus, we we can only have a maximum for Zoom, a certain amount, and that's why because it's now streaming across the world. You can have potentially ten thousand guys who's just going to get in there and tire kick and be a troll, things like that. So we want to make it really serious for the guys want to learn, and we price it so it's cheap enough where everybody around the world can afford that. Anything yep, else, Alex? And- and the event is Monday. So we start Monday. So Monday is going to be our live trading day. The way it's going to start is I'm going to start it off with building the watch list for the morning. Going to talk about uh, brokers that we use, brokers that we recommend. Bao's going to be trading live, uh, talking about his trades. And then after that, we're going to open it up to presentations from our moderators. Like uh, Tom is going to talk about how to be consistently profitable. Uh, Faye is going to talk about how she found her consistency so quickly. James is going to talk about pre-market trading, Austin FOMO trading, Joe, how to use the MIC process, Harry, the first bounce. So we're going to have a bunch of presentations from our moderators. And these are going to be quick 15, 20 minute presentations. And then we're going to open it up to Q&A with the moderator. So not only are you going to be able to attend the event, it's going to be interactive where you get to ask questions after if you have any additional uh, things that you need help on. So that's going to be this Monday, this coming Monday, August 17th. And then August 18th, the day after, is another day of live trading exclusively for lifetime members only, which is going to be sick. Yep. So any questions, guys, you can go to our website slash anniversary. Go to my Twitter. I, you know, it's on my Twitter. It's on Alex's Twitter. We're posting that today again. Also, text Tosh. Any questions at all, text Tosh. This is your opportunity to upgrade to join MIC at an incredible, unlisted, unadvertised promotional deal, okay? We're doing this for our anniversary special. So text Tosh, guys, any questions you guys want about anything, including the accelerator course that we have. It'd be great if you guys got the accelerator before the boot camp so you can learn. And then when you go to the boot camp, it's going to be like pretty much live interaction with us and see the trades live in action. I mean, all this with 97 bucks is just pretty much incredible, man. These guys are other guys are charging like thousands of dollars just to meet them, right? So, exactly. <laughs> and the thing is that, like, there's so many people online. There's so many of uh, these internet, these 16 year old Forex geniuses that are making all this type of money. And the truth of the matter is, you don't really know who you could trust on the internet. You don't really know who you could trust online. So, we're opening up our doors. We're showing you our full process. We're showing you everything from A to Z. And then you're going to see executed live from Bao. So, I mean, it doesn't get more transparent than that. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're all going to trade together. You're going to see the process in action. You're going to see how, I mean, dude, this is, this is the way that we trade, you know, and, and this is the way that our members have learned. And no, don't, don't just take it from Alex and I. Talk to our members. Check out our testimonials on Instagram. Heck, man, most of the guys here watching are members, so they can attest to, to how valid our strategies are and how pretty much honest and transparent we are. Otherwise, we would not go on live every single week, twice a week. We're here all time. the time, man, all the Dude, time. If we, if we did anything horrible, we would not show our faces up. We are the only guys in the entire fucking world, guys, that, that do this for a living, trade for a living, help people and mentor and go live. Fuck, think about that. You guys go here. Do you see any trolls bashing us, haters? Because we don't fuck anybody. We're the real deal, guys. I don't want to say any more than that. But there's a reason why I stopped trading in the middle of the day. Alex stopped trading in the middle of the day to come to live and help you guys. I could be sitting here fucking trading. But, you know, that's the point. My, my point being is, like, dude, we are running an educational mentoring service. So, you, you, you know, we are not just traders anymore. We are an educator. So that's what we all like to talk about. So, well, any more questions? Text Tosh. Oh, tell us about your day, Alex. You did a great day, and we'll 
and that'll tr that will segue into what I ha what I have to talk about. Yeah, so let me let me show you the numbers real quick. Let me pull it up. So today was in one account seventeen thousand nine hundred, and then the other account a little bit above thirty five hundred for about twenty one thousand six hundred today. So today was kind of so. I always mention that. You know, every single day that we show up to the market, I have no idea what I'm going to trade. I have no idea what to expect. I just have no clue. All I know is that we have a process that is repeatable. We have a process that works. So every single day, I'm just trying to stick to it. Uh, something like EYEN today, I mean, what I've learned is that pre-market, there's a lot of opportunity to go long because there's a lot of people pumping the shit and they're trying to send it up to the moon. So for me, as a short bias trader, I just wait. I just wait for these stocks to top out. I let all the dumb money pile in high. And then as soon as they get stuck, as soon as there is downside momentum, as soon as the stock is broken, then I know I have an edge and that allows me to kind of size in. So on EYN, I used about, I think it was like 15,000 shares and I made over a dollar a share on it because there was so many people stuck and it went down dollar even more. So, I mean, what I'm trying to do in my trading these days, guys, is I'm trying to just wait for the broken stocks and then depending on how broken they are and how much meat there is on the bone, meaning how much range there is, then I size in accordingly based on those stocks. But, but notice what Alex did. How much did you make yesterday, Alex? Yesterday was 900 bucks. So people are laughing. $900. Oh, I made more than Alex. I'm better trader than Alex. I mean, I'm just trying to tell you guys, man. Alex trades 30 minutes a day, one hour a day. Yeah. Today was 25 minutes, bro. Yeah, we, me and Alex were done the first freaking 15 minutes of the day. But the point is, of course, if you want, you can, you can max it up. He can go 100,000 shares if you wanted to, but that's not the point. The point is, you know what? He sized it up for his own stress relief. I mean, it depends on what you're trying to do. I'm just trying to educate everybody to the fact that don't just look at the big money, guys. Look, the key is the process. The process, the risk management, you have to weigh the risk to reward and know when to press size. And Correct. And, so and not was, every day yeah. requires size. Yesterday, there was a lack of opportunity. It was almost like squeezing water out of a rock. So because of that, that doesn't give me the signal that I should be using size. But on a stock like EYEN that has some warrants, that has some dirty filings, that has a lot of inexperienced, uneducated people piling in high, that to me gave me a signal that, all right, there's an edge here. There's dilution. Stock is under VWAP. There's bag holders long. I, I mean, to me, it gave me all the signals that I needed to size in. And honestly, again, the size that I'm using is the size that makes me feel comfortable. Had I used 50, 60, 100,000 shares, I may have made more money, but I would have also been stressed. And what I've learned about my trading is the less stressed that I am in my trading, the more money I make long term. Because now tomorrow, I am confident, I am calm, and I'm ready to attack again. Correct. That's exactly the point. Stick to the process, guys. The process will reward you. If you want to make bigger money, what you do is you don't just start forcing size. You try to, try to look at your process and see how you can tweak the process and then start to add size slowly over time. Because the last thing you want to do is, okay, you, you think you're making money. Too many people size up too quickly. And what happens is the very first time they size up, they lose their entire bankroll. You have to get comfortable with the size because it's not just adding a few thousand more shares. A little pop on those few thousand shares could make you very nervous and all that stuff. My, my whole point is this. This, this is going to segue into a great thing that I want to talk about. So I guess um, if you want to go, Alex, I'm going I'm to talk about risks and all that stuff. Yeah, we'll the last thing I want to mention. Yeah, the last thing I want to mention is our new broker partnership. So if you, oh, guys yeah, didn't yeah, watch yesterday's, if you guys didn't watch yesterday's live video, we actually partnered up with a new broker for international accounts. So if you are non-USA, outside the USA, like Canada, Russia, anywhere else, our new broker partners. You're non-USA. So, yeah. So the reason why our, this new broker partner is awesome is because now they're giving special perks to MIC members. So uh, if you open up a Trade Zero account, right? If you open up a Trade Zero account, I'm going to have links in the description of this video. Uh, you're going to get 5% off locates. You're going to get free platform for three months. After the three months, you're going to get a 20% discount on your platform. And the account minimum to open is $1,000. And 
And if you're international, there's no PDT rule. Lo lo locate, locate discount? Locate discount, you get a 5% locate discount, which is exclusive to us only. No one else has a deal like this. Correct. And that amount of money that you save on your locates could go towards paying for your MIC membership. So essentially, it almost becomes free. Yeah, so as you know, man, we don't just do partnerships just to, to become a normal affiliate to get a few dollars from people. When we do partnerships, it's to help our members. We only have another partnership, which is with Cobra Trading. If you're in the United States, Cobra is your choice. The best broker, the most inexpensive for low case. That's what Alex and I use as well. Everybody yep. in MIC is just loving it. But they told us, we need Canadians. We are out of the country. We have a smaller account. You know what I'm saying? So we, we cannot be limited by pattern day trader rules for USA. So we went out to find an international broker that would help. We have hundreds of guys. Do I think like 20, 30% of our people are international, by the way. They, yep. they needed a broker, like Canadian. And so that's the reason why we partner with them. They obviously know our track record. So they can valid, verify how legit we are. And that's the thing. We don't go and just partner up with just anybody. You know, these, these guys. And it took us six months to work out this deal. Yeah, we, it needed, a long time. We, we needed them to give us something to help our members. Not just us referring people and getting money. That's not the intent of these partnerships, guys. It has to be a two-way street. You, members have to save, you know, and they, they it, it's a relationship, it's a partnership, and not just a just a cheap affiliate. So Yeah, and it always goes back to the same thing, guys. MIC is a community, right? So you have to ask yourself, what is your community doing to help you, right? So for us, every single day, every single month, every single week, we are trying to look for partners. We are trying to actively do what we can to provide you guys, our members, with the most amount of value possible. And no one else in the industry is going to have deals and perks like we do. Oh, and the reason we want to bring these partnerships on is because they are now in our chat room. So if you have issues and questions, you don't need to call the phone anymore. You're in yeah. our chat room talking to them on a private line that no one can read. So make sure that you, when you join a community, the community cannot spy on you. If you're using a a private proprietary software, they are spying on you, by the way. Okay, they can read your messages. So we use Slack, which is a public company, and no one can spy on anybody. And yep. the fact that it's all encrypted, Slack, dude. And now you, you're able to talk freely on a direct message, private message with the broker itself. So you have issues by your account. Dude, this is awesome. So we have Cobra in the room, and now we're gonna have, we have Trade Zero as well. Yep, this is your contact for Trade Zero right here in the Broker Talk room. And then as always, Cobra is here as well. The president and CEO of Cobra Trading is who you guys have access to. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Correct. Correct, man. So now you, now not, you are not alone anymore, guys, because the problem I had before when I was a small trader, no, it, brokers really don't really talk to you unless you're a big-time trader. If you have issues, no one's going to fucking give a fuck, right? Because you're basically – not making that money. You're actually costing them money because every time you guys on a phone call with a customer service rep, they lose money. <laughs> so, yep. that, you know, so now this is the power of leveraging the community. If you have issues and you're in MIC, they will take care of you. Yep. That's it, bro. That's it. Cool. All right, man. All right. We'll talk. Thanks, Alex. Bye. All right, guys, what, that's going to segue to me to what I'm talking about. So yesterday, Alex made like 900 bucks, okay? He's not sitting around swinging $100,000 a day, trying to break the record, trying to walk around. The point of trading is not a competition, guys. Trading is a competition not between other people, actually. It's a competition between you and your own discipline. The best traders are not necessarily the guys with the most money, not necessarily the guys that have the most intelligence. It's the guys with the most discipline. Okay? We've taken – we. I mean, there's huge examples with MIC. Like Faye, she started with knowing nothing. And within a month or two, consistently make – I'm not going to talk about her numbers, but it's basic. I think she's making more than her job now as an engineer. And you know how much engineers make over in Silicon Valley. So I'm very happy. And that's the whole point. The whole point is this, guys. Making a million dollars a year may or may not change your life. 
as much as just making $200 a day. Okay? Because if, if you think a million dollars was going to change your life, it means you already had money. And that's what, what, what the failure of these people are, in my opinion. They don't value what $200 means. $200 means, for me, life-changing money is walking to a restaurant and being able to order anything I want. Unless it's like a five-star Michelin, right? <laughs> Whatever. It's like a normal thing. Every day I walk into a restaurant, I order pho. And before I would be like, oh shit, how much is this pho? Filet mignon is going to cost more than prime you know, steak or whatever. Now I don't really care. $20 extra, I'm cool with that. Before I was like, you know, worried about buying a steak. Okay, $100. It's okay now. That to me is life changing money. The moment I figured that out was the moment I became very consistent. That I realized that, you know what, man, I'm killing myself trying to make $50,000, $100,000 a day. Swinging up and down, huge stress when I need to create a system, a consistent, systematic, repeatable system based around winning strategies, but more importantly, low risk, low risk and low stress. Someone told me, a really rich person told me this, and it changed my life as well later on in my career. He told me about after some point, making money doesn't really give a fuck. I mean, it doesn't really matter to you. It's not going to change your life. Like, make, me making more money today is not going to change my life, okay? My life's already good. I'm not, you know, what's going to change my life is making that money with at least amount of stress, no stress, in the least amount of time possible. Let's say I make a million dollars a year, but I'm working 80 hours a week, stressed out, you know, dying, stressed out, versus making 300 grand a year, 500 grand a year, no stress, Saving time, time for me to do whatever I want to do, working one hour a day. That's my point. After taxes and all that stuff, guys, don't chase the money. What you need to be able to do is chase a system that's going to give you life-changing opportunity and freedom. You have to sit down and define what the life-changing opportunity and freedom is. It's not a million bucks. I guarantee you that. It can be as simple as $200. I guarantee you. If you have $200 extra a day, it will supplement your income. It will change your life forever. And remember, when I keep talking about $200, people go, oh, that's a little money. But if you can make $200 a day, you can make $2,000 a day. It's up to you. But in order for you to make consistent $2,000 a day, you need to make $200 a day. That is the secret that people do not fucking realize. People want to level up and swing hundreds of thousands of dollars. And the next day, lose hundreds of thousands of dollars. They stress the fuck out. You know? The problem is this, when you're starting out, you do not have the capital, you do not have the bankroll to handle these swings. But I talked to the guys last night, it's not even about the capital, like the financial capital, it's the mental, emotional, psychological capital that's affected. I'm gonna tell you like my biggest loss in my career was a $300,000 loss, okay? $300,000 loss, this was maybe 10 years ago. But I was up $3 million at that time, okay? I was up $3 million on the year, and, I was, and even that crippled me in terms of, not financially, dude, I, I was making millions a year. $3,000 ain't shit. But mental capital, it freaked me out. I became so scared. I was like, holy shit, I can never size up again. I'm afraid that it's going to happen again. I have PTSD, all that stuff. You know how I overcame that? I took it. The reason why I lost that money, which is the same reason I usually lose, is I think I'm a fucking baller. I think when I walk into trading, I am the man. I'm going to bank, bank, bank. And I'm pissed that I didn't load up on the previous play. So I make money consistently trading my process. But I was greedy. I was like, fuck, why did I load up? I'm right 90% of the time. Next stock, I'm going to fucking load up. So I bought a million dollars of this, this fucking piece of shit stock. I forgot what it was, but it was like a penny stock. It was some stupid shit, okay? Million dollars. I was the most of the volume. I was so greedy. And when it was time for me to sell, there was no buyers. And so I just had a dump, okay? And that pretty much, you know, that, that pretty much messed me up mentally because now I'm like, holy shit, I'm scared to even size in anything. It's not the money that I'm afraid of, guys. 
a lot of the guys, like, like athletes, you go through a – even the best Hall of Famers go through, like, slumps, right? Batting slumps, shooting slumps. Most of these guys, they're pros. They're elite. They get over these hurdles. But most of us are normal human beings. We can never recover from things like that. Like, if you got mugged walking at night, you are now going to be scared walking at night by yourself. And I don't want you to get to that, that, that position where you have to test yourself whether or not you can overcome this adversity. Okay? So, what do you do, guys? I don't want you to get mugged at night. I don't want you to walk alone at night. You should always have someone with you when you're walking alone at night. Make sense? So there's two ways to do it. Oh, I won't figure it out because it'll never happen to me. So when the moment it happens to you, you may not recover. And that's why I keep talking about risk management. Risk management is not there when things are good. Risk management is there when things are bad. It's like putting on a seatbelt when you drive a car. 99% of the time, it's fine. But that one time you need the seatbelt, it's going to save your life. So we have all these risk parameters, which I'm not going to get into. We have videos on this. My point to you is this. The secret to leveling up, guys, is to do it consistently and prevent the pitfalls of the what-if outlier. Black Swan happened all the fucking time. I've seen guys lose tens of millions of dollars touring Tesla, and now they're trading tiny size compared to what they used to trade. They've been humbled. So there's two types of people in the world, guys. Those that have been humbled and those that are about to be humbled. And I don't want you guys to get to the point where, where you know what, man? One trade will take you out. At the beginning stages of your, of your trading career, you will not be able to recover. The experts, the guys like me, taking a $300,000 loss, I will recover. Okay? If I am good, I will recover. Okay, but if you are, but if I took that when I was young in my career, I may not recover. It may scare me to the point where I'm going to go back and get a job. Now I'm, I'm frightened every time I place a trade. And it doesn't have to be $300,000, guys. A lot of the guys just lose a few thousand bucks, their rent, whatever the hell it may be, which will scare them. And I don't want you to get to that point. And I'm giving you as an example of Alex. Okay, Alex trades one hour a day. I think he's, he's almost up a million bucks this year. This year, he's on the pace, knock on wood. I want to jinx him to be over a million trading an hour a day. And look at what he does. Barely, the risk management is on point. When he loses, it's not hundreds of thousands, guys. It's thousands of dollars. When he wins, it's tens of thousands. And these $1,000 days, $3,000 days, they may not seem much, but they add up. I'm going to give you perspective, okay? $4,000 a day on the average is $1 million a year, guys. One million dollars a year would that change your life? Okay, making two thousand a day average half a million, a quarter of a million, a thousand, hundred thousand dollars a year is what 500 bucks a day, guys. 500 dollars a day. Can you make 500 dollars a day? That's a hundred thousand dollars a year. 200 dollars a day is 50,000. That's my point to you. When you scale, when I, so go to my Twitter, I, I pinned it, and that has been the hallmark of my trading career. Meaning, the moment I saw that, I was like, holy fuck. Every day I'm looking at those numbers. How much did I make today? Am I on the pace to make what I want to make? It's not about swinging up and down, because I always thought to make a million a year, I have to swing up and down tens of $20,000, $100,000 a day. No, consistency. How did I make $3 million a year? How did I make a million? Those are when you trade the process, it happens. You aim for something, but doesn't mean that that's the only number you're going to hit. Okay? But the key, you're never going to hit your numbers unless you don't have these giant losses. Risk management is the only way. Because like I tell you, man, it's not just a financial collapse. It's the mental. That is worse than a financial collapse, guys. I've heard stories where good traders have bad days and they never recover mentally you know how many athletes like that so that's my whole point to you guys how do you make a million dollars a year four thousand a day you you're very shocked okay i've been averaging that every day knock on wood 
No one's going to fucking see that because I don't need to brag about it. And even if I post a $6,000, $10,000 day, 8000 4000 3000 it doesn't seem that much to you. But when you look back at the end of the year, oh, shit, this little turtle has worked an hour a day, no stress, walking around, cursing, helping members, and still make a million, right? And that's my point to you guys. And you don't need to make a million. Focus on making 200 a day, $20 a day to learn the system. And then you level up. Hey, On, are you here? I'm going to bring you on someone that, that joined two months ago. He was a trader back in the day, and he broke all sorts of rules. So now he's like, I'm going to come back in, Val, listen to the MIC process, and follows it. So at 1030, zombie rule, he shuts his computer down. He tells his, I'll tell, okay, I'll let him talk. Go ahead, man. Mr. On right here. You got to listen to this success story, guys. He's already successful, but you know, in tr you can be the best doctor, or whatever, but in trading, it humbles you, regardless of who you are. What's up, hey, Alex? brother. What's up, man? What's up, Val? Hey, it's an honor, man. I, I have so COVID hair. That's why I have this thing on. And I'm COVID hair. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to let you talk, man. For a while. I'm going to let My you talk, does. introduce yourself and all that stuff. So yeah. go for Hi, it, man. I'm on. Yours. Um, I'm on. I'm a, you know, I'm a doc. Uh, I'm here in my clinic, actually. So my staff walks yeah, in. He's, like, a, he's, he's a, a practicing uh, uh, doctor. So. Hey, yeah, plug and, your place. Uh, plug your place. Do you want to play? <laughs> what's up? Hey, your, your place actually lends very well with trading. Pain, right? Play pain clinic. Yeah, it's a, it's a pain clinic. And uh, it's, it's, it's pain is quite painful. <laughs> but but yeah, um, it, it's it's an honor. I, I I'm very happy that um, I had this opportunity to really refine my uh, trading skills. I you know I started what maybe maybe five six years ago six years ago, and I used to blow up all the time. I used to come in swing. I, I was there that day that you you did the Fannie Mae thing, Val. You know you killed oh, yeah. it. Um, <laughs> I I made a little bit of money, but not too much. But but yeah, I I you know it's just, it's just the process here is really changed my life changed my trading it's, it's, it's amazing so so tell us what you did differently uh because i kind of talked about the zombie and, and and i love the story about you told your secretary to, to pull your yeah. cable <laughs> yeah and, and by the way everyone asks for my charts but i don't have my laptop so i trade off a little laptop and i won't put das on anything else like i have this <laughs> see i have this big computer here right and it's only for charts but there's no das on there but so so i trade off the laptop and at 10 30 my secretary comes to take it away because i'm an addict like I'll sit, I'll, I'll sneak in trades, you know, I'll, I'll try to like, you know, you know, see something pop the view up and I'm like, I, I got to short it again. And then all of a sudden, you know, it flies all the way up and, th and there you go. I gave up my profits for the, for the day. So, so my staff all knows is that come 1030, they, they take my computer away. Um, but, but that's, that's what's changed my trading. It's just the system, the discipline. I didn't have any of that back then because I was like, you know, trading in the hospital. I had a whole like mobile setup with like multiple monitors well you laptop. you were trading for fun that's what most people do they treat trading as a hobby yeah, now yeah. you're treating as a business man that's you're right. trading as that's a business right. that's right man and then back then i was like you know running it out of surgeries trading and running back into the call room trading and it sucked because surgeries were like 7 30 in the morning on you know western west coast time and 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 i was already smashed or sometimes surgeries at six o'clock in the morning and i was already tied up and i couldn't trade and i always had fomo so, so this this is it's amazing. It's it's really changed my life. Like, like it's, it's, I'm really grateful. So now now you now you get to brag about your performance and tell tell us how you're doing it. Tell us the process that changed it. Do, do you have it on the screen that you can show? To have what my yeah the P my my P L today? No, yeah today and that that awesome chart from oh, when you started um, MIC. So I I don't know how to put it up. Um, let me see. What do I what do I do? Uh, Oh, I forgot you're on the phone, right? So if it's a laptop, you can yeah, yeah. You put yeah, the phone I'll, I'll to the laptop. Up, I'll post it up in the room, but but uh, okay. yeah, yeah, I, I posted it this morning. Um, yeah, I will I post it on Instagram, guys, but you can talk about it. I'll post it on Instagram later for you guys. It's very impressive because it's not the dollar amount, guys. It's the fact that On was a trader with me back in the day, and we would have a lot of fun. But he treated it as a hobby. But now when he came back and goes, I'm serious about this. And I'm going, how are you going to be serious? Are you going to make a trading plan? The trading plan because like, how do you stop yourself from, from breaking your rules? Because me and right. On, me and On will just do what the fuck we want to do. Because this is a problem, I'm telling you guys. On makes money as a doctor, and so he doesn't treat this seriously. So he's going to reload his account. But it's I'm horrible. like, fuck, dude. It's horrible. After a while, it's like, it's like what the fuck? So he's About, treating this. 
I still remember that night. We went drinking in Vegas, and you told me not to trade the next day. But, you know, I had FOMO. I went and traded, and I was hungover, and I lost 50K that day. It was Shit, I know, man. It's a horrible It's feeling. horrible, dude. So he took it seriously now, guys. I'm telling you, man. You can be a new trader, an old. So what on had to do is uh, the hardest part, right, is to unlearn our bad habits. A five-year break. Yeah. That's what does it. So yeah. he took a freaking long break, guys. And Thanks, then, Alex. And then he came back, and he's like, Val, I'm ready to learn again. So he forgot a lot of the bad habits that he did. But, but the bad habit always comes back over trading. That's right. Like, like I'll post my P&L from yesterday. Like, I, I tried a new system uh, to see if I can, you know, handle more tickers. And I overtraded it. I mean, it's all before 1030, but I had, like, 20 different positions on 20 different equities. And, and it was horrible. It was horrible. And then today, I focused again, and, you know, I did really well. Like, you know, it was just. A small amount of All right, so tell, tell us your performance. Yeah. When did you join and how is your progression? And just talk about dollar amounts because I, I want you to show these kids what's possible because yeah. you're surprised yourself. We I, all, I'm surprised. <laughs> so I'm totally surprised. So, so I, I decided to get back into trading again when COVID hit because, you know, I own this clinic, this practice, and, you know, we got hit big time. We weren't seeing patients, weren't making any money, you know, had to keep the staff alive, had to pay the rent. So, so I basically said, you know what, I, I got to start, I got to start trading. And that's when I reached out to you, Bao. And I said, okay, fine, I'm going to come in seriously. So I had my, and I still trade off of it, but my old, my old trading laptop that I used in the hospital since what, five, six years ago, that's what I'm <laughs> like, trading off of. Windows and, 95. <laughs> and, and every time I, every time I get filled in DOS, the thing stalls, the thing stalls. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah, he was using a five-year-old laptop, five-year-old laptop. Yeah. But anyways, that, that's what made me decide to get, get in. And I had to take it seriously because, you know, I, I have employees and I have lives to, to take care of. And so I started, you know, first week of June. And, um, you know, first week was kind of rough because I didn't have any discipline, you know. And every time I traded a hot chick, I would have a red, a red experience. Every time I traded past 1030, it was red, you know. And, and, and I was always green beforehand and I was red afterwards. And it got to the point where even my wife got involved and, and Val posted that. That, that thing, uh, that, that picture of, of my, <laughs> my wife yelling at me last week because she didn't want me to trade anymore after 1030 because I was up. And so every time I'm up and every time it's around 1030, I have to stop. I, I, I suck. I suck after 1030. I don't, you guys mean you can do it, but I suck. No, but the point is this, man. You know what you suck at? Discipline. You don't suck at yeah. trading. You suck at discipline. Yeah. And so I keep telling someone, if you really want it, you have to change your lifestyle to become disciplined. And so what On did now was he made sure that he's not responsible for his own trades anymore. His wife is watching, pulling the plug. Your wife even called the broker, right? Yeah, so <laughs> she has access to the broker. She'll call the broker and, and yell at them and tell, hey, you need to cut its account. And she's done that a couple times. It's yeah. horrible. Right? <laughs> yeah. But it I works. Yep. But and then now you, you have a tab. You got a tab. Woody, the tab is helping you, right? Yep. He's screaming yep. at you too. So Woody yells at me all the time. He's awesome. He's awesome. Did He's you, very good. Tab. Did you have to lick that battery? <laughs> I did. I have it right here, and my staff's coming in. Hi, Pam. Hi. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I will. I'll call her. I'll call her. So I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm running a little late. I've, I. I was okay. We'll go quick. Yeah. It's okay. But yeah, here's my battery, and Woody makes me suck on the battery when I touch a hot <laughs> chick in the morning. So I don't even touch him anymore because it sucks. <laughs> but it works, dude. It works. It works. You put a ring on her, Alex. That's good. So this is the thing, man. In order to trade, uh, train your discipline, you have to do something different. You can't just sit around and say, okay, I'm going to stop doing it. We're, not, we're human beings. We're not going to do it. That's right. We're going to find a way to break a fucking rule when we can yep. and get away with it. Yeah. But, but so you're – so go, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say that a lot of the traders have been asking me, what's my process? And, and it's very simple. The hot chicks – I don't even look at them that day. I write it down on a piece of paper and then I pull it up the following day. So here I have a stack of papers with the hot chicks on it. See, and I just look at it. I scan them the following days. And that's, and the, that's what I trade. And how much did you start with on 50 K you, so you deposited 50,000. Yeah. Come on. Come and on so I, I wish I could show the chart. So tell us, you've been what, here since that? June. Okay. okay. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. So you've been, you've been here since June. So tell us how your education, so people want to learn. So 
the first week that you study and what are the results after the first month, second month, third month? So, so I, I watched, um, I watched the accelerator as you recommended. Um, I, you know, I, I watched, you know, I listened to it in the mornings when I drive to work and I, you know, listened to your lectures and, uh, your IG, uh, lectures and Alex's, you know, daily walks on Mondays when I drive home. And it just gets me in the mindset. And then I even listen to it in the morning when I drive to work. So, so th that's uh, that's basically it. Just watching. I haven't watched everything yet. I still want to. I I, I saw that list that they made, and and uh, I have to get to it, but I, I haven't. But but the key is you do. You're a busy man. That's my point to everybody. Every, you're a busy man running your own clinic, and driving two hours a day to work. <laughs> you know, it's a lot. And, you, and so if you want this to happen, which On does, he started to listen to our videos while in the car you you don't you know you you don't make an excuse and this is what i love about the story man he barely sleeps like maybe four hours five hours a day i keep telling you it's, it's closer, rough. Right? It's rough. but he wants it and so i want don't don't be shy but on is a very humble guy which i love and this is the reason why he's very successful in my opinion because he's able to look at him man oh shit, oh shit. Look, look at on he's a very successful profession professional doctor owning a clinic most of most people in his position is not going to want to listen to advice from anybody because you, you know most people in that high position say i know everything and so they don't watch the videos how you know how many people i i i, I try to mentor they have not seen a single video because they they're like i i'm i am very good in my career right so yep, yep. I, I can tell you it's it's been life-changing i mean i mean let me put it this way all right like and i'll, and I'll, I'll share the numbers like last week i grossed over 70k just last week. Just in one week. Yeah, but if I had stuck to my rules and didn't trade after ten thirty, I still did some trades. That's why my wife's been yelling at me. I, it would have been well over hundred k last week. I mean, today. And, th I and this is, and I want to let people yeah. know, it's not just one day making seven. He's consistently making twenty thousand a day. Yeah, and like that's today, the thing. He he's not gambling, guys. He's not revenge trading. He's following the rules, and all of a sudden it adds up. The process yields this daily. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Today, I mean, I I made twenty eight k today. So, my wife so how started much? yelling at me already at ten o'clock. So what what you showed me was even more. I mean, yeah. you've only been here for three months, less than three months. And uh, t tell us your your profits the first month, second month, third month. So first month, um, I grossed. Let me pull it up here, and I'll and I'll share my I'll share my P and L calendar if I both can have it, but without my numbers on it, so you can use it however you want. Because I I programmed it on um. Google Drive, um, but let's see here. So the first month in June, I, so with without fees or with fees? Doesn't matter, without fees is fine. Okay, so without Whatever fees, let me cut it off. Without fees, it was 97,900, so 98,000 the first month. But I, and I had three red days and I didn't trade four days out of the month. Okay, the second month I had seven red days. I was, I was being really stupid. Um, I grossed 103,000 that month, but I had like seven red days and, and my biggest red day was like 18 K. Um, but this month I'm all green. I mean, I'm on a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine day green streak. Woo! And I'm already up like this month. I'm up, um, 105. So, so you're up over $300,000 since going because you're sticking to the process. You listen to your wife. You're licking that battery. You stop trading. <laughs> yep, that's right. Avoid the hot chick. Just cut after ten ten thirty. You know, don't touch it again. Just, just you know. And I've been telling other traders, you know, just unplug your computer. You know, give your cable away. Just walk away. You'll understand later. It, and it will be really hard at first, but but it, it changes your thinking. And once you're able to break that addiction cycle, we're all addicts, right? we're all addicts to the, the screens and, and the quote unquote opportunities and the euphoria we receive from, from a win. But you break that cycle, your, your, your P and L is going to like skyrocket. And that's what's happened this week. Cause what, what a lot of traders do is you make a hundred grand. You're like, Oh my God, if I load it up or traded more, I'll make 200 grand. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and that's what kills you. And I'm going to do this for Woody because Woody, I told Woody, I, I, I wanted to stay low profile. So I'm going to lick the battery for you, you bastard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good thing you're in a pain clinic. Go, go, yeah, go, go cure yeah. your pain. But but, but this but, is awesome, man. This is this is I mean, life changing. It can't. It's not just the monetary. Like I said, now it's your mental. 
you know you can do this for the rest of your life. Knock on wood. It's That's up right. to you. And so what, what kind of risk parameters are you doing? This is the thing I want everybody to know, guys. He's making this money, trading one hour a day, not revenge trading, sticking to the low-hanging fruits, the, the easier plays that no one even knows about. Because it, you know, every time he touches the hot chick, he loses. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So people ask me what size I trade. Like, I'll, I'll show you. I traded about 4,000 shares of MCRB today. There's 4,000. But I recycled over and over again. And, you'll, and I don't even know what my p and is. I'll, 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 I'll post it later. But it's recycling. It's, it's, it's you know, coming in and out. I, th I think um, you're up like 12 or 14 grand on that stock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I didn't even yeah. know. Yeah. Because I had yeah. to run. He's making too much money. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, he's, but, but he's he's doing an imaginable amount. That's the point. And he's trading the stock that yeah. everybody forgot about. Val, are you still there? Oh, shoot. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think my, 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 my thing is about to do that. Okay, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yep, yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the, the point is like this. He's trading the easier trades that everybody forgets about. It's not the sexy trades. And then I look around like, what the hell? You have that much money? <laughs> you know? And he's trading five different stocks, and each stock is yielding his money. And it adds up. It's not like one stock is making him $50,000. It's four stocks is making him $5,000, and he's making twenty grand a day. Yep, yeah. Well, not every day, but yeah. Yeah, but you know, that's pretty good yeah. enough. <laughs> no, again, guys, I'm honored. I mean, I, I'm honored to the community. I'm, you know, I'm honored that you, 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 you know, told me this would like be life changing. You know, the thinking that Tosh and Alex and all the mods have put to put forth, like it's, it's, it's phenomenal. And, and I wish people that are really serious about trading and really serious about developing that discipline and process would take this, you know, the opportunity to learn from you seriously. Because I don't, you know, I hope this community be around a long time, but it's life changing. Yeah, and, and you see what? what what's up? Good. And you see, I, 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 I'm sorry to do it. Do you see what what Ans talking about? Ans talking about process, all that. And someone asked, "What broker do you use?" It doesn't matter what broker you use. You guys are focusing on the wrong things, guys. Listen to what he's saying. You should be asking questions about, you know, his process. How is he finding these stocks? Where is he learning these strategies? Things like that. You don't need to ask him like, "What what, what brand is his underwear?" Or what broker is he using? You know, it's like yeah, those, those don't mean shit. What what keyboard? You know how many people ask me what keyboard I use? Like fucking imagine what fucking keyboard I use. I probably make money on a fucking cheap keyboard too. You know, learn learn to focus on the right things. I see these people focusing on the wrong shit, and then I ask them, "Did you join MIC?" No, I'm learning on my own. And it's like, what the fuck? It's just so stupid, right? I mean. There's things you, on you can tell this. There's things that you will never be able to learn on your own. Yeah. There's things that. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I mean, dude, I I was a lover of uh, Zombie Hour back then. You know, when when <laughs> when, when the stocks popped up to VWAP back then during Zombie Hour, I was like, oh, I gotta short it. And all of a sudden, it pops all the way up to the high of day, and and there goes you know, my profits and uh, you know profits for the week or the month. You you were an yeah. adrenaline junkie, which is most of us. Oh yeah, adrenaline yeah. junkie, and that's uh, that's what it is, man. Yeah, and, so, I, and I want to point out. Can I just say one more thing? Is that you say I'm, as I'm much things a, you want? Yeah, I'm in a pain clinic, so I deal a lot of with patients with you know opioid addictions. Like I can tell you, like I find it within myself that I'm addicted to margarine, and it's addicting, and it's the hardest thing to walk away. And you have to find something to force yourself to walk away. And yes, short fives. I, I I'm short fives. I. I suck at going long. Um, Woody and I call long traders, guys who short, who go long, buy traders. And so he's been calling me a buy <laughs> trader. I've tried trading long. And every time I try trading long, I lose. I'm not as good as Harry. No, Harry's probably really good at that. But yeah. So, so just, uh, you know, develop your style. Um, develop your niche. But, but learn the discipline. That's the most important thing. And learn to walk away. Even if you're down, walk away. No revenge trading. No FOMO. If the opportunity to set up isn't there, Walk away. Who cares? And, and he started with fifty thousand guys, just just trading yeah. the process, and then just you know, I one day I looked at his P and L. I'm like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> you know, what the hell? It's too, dude. I'm, I'm so happy. And, and like, like I told you, man, you hit it on the head when you said you have to find a reason to leave. That's, because we are adrenaline junkies. I'm addicted to the adrenaline of trading, just like you, just like a heroin person. Why do you think we do these walks? I have to man, man, leave the freaking keyboard. And I'm always late to the IG live that's still trading. And you know what I have right now? I have open orders because that's how, that's how much of a junkie I am. I want to come back there 
And I'm okay if I'm down or up a few thousand dollars, but it gives me that excitement, which is stupid as fuck. But you hit it on the head. The reason why, because I'm trying to help you, I'm, because I, I know how you were. And the thing is, you know what, man? I, I know you're a great trader. And the only thing that matters, in my opinion, being a great trader is discipline. And this is what I want to tell the whole entire world. Yep. You, you cut the learning curve. Because you don't have to figure out the strategy. We already told you which strategies work. Most of the guys that don't join, they're, they're, they're spending their time trying to figure out what works. And that's the thing that mind boggles me. You don't want to pay for MIC and you rather lose money. We give you the strategy that work. And that's the reason why your learning curve is cut tremendously. You just now need to focus on your discipline. And being in the community helps. And that's my whole point to these guys. If you had just gone on your own right now, let's say you're up three in the ground. You think you know everything. You stop being an MIC. Stop having a tab. Stop doing this. I guarantee you go back to your old ways and blow up your entire account. You're absolutely right, dude. You're absolutely right. I mean, I'm a dumbass. Don't, don't, don't be fooled. You know, I, I, I screw up all the time. Not, not in surgery because that those are the <laughs> Yeah. But, you know, on the market. But you're, you're the same as time. me, man. I started this yeah. community because it, without, it, it's like, it, this is to me like Alcoholics Anonymous. So you need a community. I'm a trader's anonymous, right? I'm, me and you are junkies of trading. And if I just leave on my own, I don't, I don't have Alex. I don't have you. I don't have IG. I don't have members to account yep. for. I'm going to go back to my old fucking ways. And that's the problem. So being a community, it, it's, it's, to me, it's just trader's anonymous, man. You, you just got to keep going to the sessions. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yep. Again, you guys are the best. Um, Bro, I have to excuse myself. I'm 40 minutes. Oh, go, go. We're good. Thank you. You're going to get pissed, on. dude. I, yeah. Thanks guys, a lot, we'll man. Thanks back. for your time. Reach out anytime. Yeah, I'll talk right, to you soon. Thanks, thanks guys. All right, Go bye. cheer someone. <laughs> thanks. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, there you, you're here. I, it took me a long time to get him on the – because he had surgery in the morning, so he took the time off. But basically, that's what I want to tell you guys, that the road to a million dollars is not one-off revenge trading. It's creating a system based around – a repeatable system based around winning strategies but coupled with risk management. Part of his risk management is his process. His process tells him to leave at 1030 or his wife is going to divorce him. His wife actually physically called up the broker to tell the broker to cut him off. He told his secretary to pull the plug. I'm the one checking. Woody, his tab is telling him to suck on a battery. That's my whole point to you guys. Okay, guys, you guys can't do this. You guys can't do this. Do you really want it bad enough? Change your fucking life. You need to put around risk management. This is all about the risk management. We are all adrenaline junkies, and that's why we lose. All right, guys, we'll see you online, and we'll see you at the boot camp. Any questions, text Tosh, okay? I just shared to you guys the million-dollar formula on how to become a millionaire. You know, it will t everybody has a different time to get there, but I guarantee you, if you stick to this and you're disciplined, you will get there, okay? I, I have faith in you. If you're disciplined and you want it bad enough, it all starts with $100 a day, guys. I'll see you guys. Text Tosh.